Hey guys, how's it going? Pastor Brad here. Hey, just uh, I'm on my Wednesday morning sabbatical. I'm here at the uh, Augustine Spirituality Center out on Boyson, and um, here's where I hang out on Wednesdays. And uh, so I sit in this room, this meditation room, and just got this nice overview of the woods. I got my computer open here to uh, to one year Bible, and I got my Bible out, I'm checking different things out there, and. Uh, just uh, kind of want to chat with you for just a little bit about kind of where you, where and how you connect with God, because I think that's so crucial to uh, to our relationship with Jesus Christ. And I just found some pretty awesome things this morning that I wanted to share with you real quickly. Some of them I actually there's times when I read the Bible and it actually makes me laugh. And so I wanted to show you a couple things here. Um, doing the one year Bible, you first start off and you do read a passage in the Old Testament, then you read a passage in the New Testament, then you read a Psalm and a Proverb, which is a great way to kind of get different uh, pieces of the Bible each day. And so I'm reading, first thing I'm reading here is an, uh, um, Ezekiel chapter 7, verses 17. You got to see this. I think it was pretty funny. Ezekiel 7, 17. Look at this. He's talking about the judgment that's going to be coming on the land. And this is what he has to say um, about the judgment that's coming. Verses, verse 17. Every hand will go limp. Every leg will be wet with urine. You're probably asking yourself, what in the world does that mean? <laughs> He's talking about the fact that the judgment's going to be so bad. Everyone's going to wet their pants. Oh, I think that's kind of funny that you find that in the Bible. I actually do have a serious point to share with you today. Next point I want to show you is in the book of Hebrews, because after you read in the Old Testament, then you read in the New Testament. Check this out in the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 5, and uh, we're going to look down here at uh, verse 12. It says, In fact, though, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you, teach you that elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish between good, between good from evil. See, I heard someone say that you will be the same person that you are today, a year from now, except for the books you read and the people that you meet. You know what, I think it's the same way with us spiritually. You will be the same person you are today, spiritually, a year from now, except for the books you read and the people you meet. And I think, of obviously, the primary book we have to be in constantly is God's Word. And the verse we just read here is that those who are on meat have learned how to distinguish between good from evil by constant use. And so I want to challenge you today. How do you connect with God? Maybe you find yourself in a rut. Maybe you need to find a place like this. Maybe you need to find a place each day, that you, or, or maybe it's every other day, whenever it is, but it's your place. Maybe it's sitting on your bed. Maybe it's a chair. Maybe it's just a private place that you find. First thing you need is a place. You need a time. Every Wednesday morning, this is where I'm at. And then on other mornings, I'm... Uh, First thing I do when I get my office, I get my Bible out. So you need a time, you need a place, but you also need a plan. And that's why I find the one-year Bible so helpful. And so this is what I want to do for you. There's another resource that I, I just ordered, and it's called The Secret Power of Speaking God's Word. And this is something I did a lot as a teenager, and it was a huge blessing to me. And it's basically um, it's any topic you want to know about. It's anger, frustration, depression, victory, whatever it is. Uh, you go to the, go to this, look it up, and I'll give you every verse the Bible has to say about that. And you just go around speaking those words out loud. There's something powerful in that. So with this post, that's what I'm going to ask you to do. I'm going to post this up on the Fuel Facebook site. And so for the first three high schoolers that leave me a comment and you describe to me how, uh, what's your time, your place, and your plan. Or maybe you don't have that. So how and when do you connect with God? Just leave me a brief comment about that. And for the first three people, i got a gift for you. I'm going to give you a copy of The Secret Power of Speaking God's Word. So um, since you read this, uh, see this video, leave me a comment. First three high school students who are part of Fuel, I'm going to give you this book. I'll see you guys later.